let us look at has one through relationship and i have a scenario here where i have crafted we have a contact a school and a teacher model the school will have many teachers so these teachers can belong to a school but a school has only one contact so i want us in a way if we can be able to pick a teacher at random from our database we can be able to get the phone number of the school to which this teacher is attached and basically that is what we are going to do i have done some a little bit of background we have um the school factory which here we are just passing in a name the teacher factory again we're just passing the name and then for the contact i am just creating it directly in the cedar so let us go ahead and look at the tables in our database we have the school we have only the name and then the teachers uh, table we are having the school id as our foreign id and then obviously also in the contacts um, uh, page we are also having the school id as uh, our foreign id so basically that is what we are having and then inside our database cedar we are having a school factory create 10 uh, schools and then inside that function we are passing in and creating 10 teachers and then we are also creating a phone contact so in this case inside the contact table we are only passing in the phone number of um of that uh, specific school so basically that is how the relationship is so let us go ahead and see how we can be able to look at it i want us to um go and uh, put our relationships in order so we will begin with the school uh, uh model so here we will have that the school has one contact and we will also have that the school has many teachers And then, of course, it is important for us to also remember to import uh, as many relations above here. After that, we also have that um, the school has one contact. So we will return this has uh, one, in this case, contact class, like that. So basically, that is what we have, and I will import the has one uh, relation, so above here. So basically, inside our school contact, we are okay. Let us go to the teacher contact, and here we have... We have that it belongs to school class and the return type that we are having here is uh, belongs to and are you ensure that we have imported it above and then this is the same thing that we are going to have inside our contact uh, class but um, the relationships that we already have are just the normal ones and we have not been able to talk about whatever it is that I wanted to talk about in this video. So I want us to go ahead and now talk about the has one through. As you can see inside the teacher um, uh, tables, we did not have the contact ID. So we cannot be able to access it directly. So in has one through, we are accessing a single record through another 
model. In this case, the school uh, model is sort of like our intermediary that is assisting us to get the contact of the school attached to a teacher. So let us go ahead and um, have the has one relationship, has one through relationship here. So we're going to have public function and then we have um, um, contact. Let me call it contact also. And do you have has one through like that? And then we will say um, return. This has one through. And then now we are going to pass in uh, several things. So I'm going to uh, just move it a little bit like that. And inside here, we are going to pass the contact class. So we are beginning with the contact class, which is the one that we want to access. After that, then we will pass in the intermediary. So the school um, class. And then after that, we are going to pass in the foreign keys. So this ID that we have passed as uh, the first value is, um, in this case, the foreign key on the intermediary. So maybe I can uh, just put a comment. So foreign key on the intermediary, like that. And then we have the school ID. And this one is um, the foreign key on, on uh, contacts table. We have a foreign key called school ID. Again, we will still pass in the school ID again, which now will be a foreign key on now the, the current table that we are working on. So in this case, we can call it local key, school underscore ID. So this one is um, local uh, key on a teacher's uh, table. And then finally, we will still pass ID. So basically that is what we have. And now I would like us to try and see if we are able to fetch a single um, teacher, if we can be able to get the contacts of the school. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to again go to our web.php file and inside here what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a teacher with an ID of one. After that, then we are going to say uh, DD uh, teacher and then contact like that. And I want us to see if we can be able to find a contact that uh, is attached to a teacher. But remember, this contact is actually a school contact, not a teacher's contact. But we are accessing it in that way. So if I'm to refresh, we are returning null. So um, have I set? So let me go back to the teacher model. So yes, I have a typo. It's supposed to be school ID there. So let me check again. And now you can see we are having values that are being returned. And we are having sort of like a phone number here among the values that are being uh, returned. And since each school already has a phone number according to the database migration that we have done and the seeding, so I can be able also to just modify and change the maybe the ID of a teacher to maybe six. So if we check with an ID of six, so again, if I'm to refresh, again, we are still getting a phone number that uh, belongs to a specific school. So basically, that is um, what we can be able to do. And this is a similar phone number. So maybe I can be able to check an ID that is a little bit far. Maybe we can check 15. If a teacher with that ID exists, then you find that we see a different phone number, perhaps. So if we check, now you can see the number has changed. So in this case, we are able to uh, filter correctly and display um, the value of the phone number that belong that belongs to a school um, attached now to a teacher sort of. So basically, that is all about um, the has one through relationship. 
Thank you very much.